Hi everyone, I've had some requests to do a video on teaching a dog how to back around a handler. Some skills that are really great to have in place before starting to work on this is having your dog understand heel position, standing on cue, and of course, backing up. These are not necessary, but can certainly make things go a lot smoother. For the first part of this video, I'm just going to talk through it as I work through the stages with Jib. Plus, I have some troubleshooting videos at the end also. All right, so here you can see I have an X pen. I've got it closed up so that there's no extra space for Jib to do anything but back up or go forward. So he's actually not able to turn around because I have the X pen around us so closely. Another option would be to put yourself in the corner of a room and then possibly use a chair or a couch to block off the other two sides. This would be if you don't have an X pen at home, but ideally an X pen is the perfect training aid for this trick. All right, so let's take a look at this again from the top with Jib. So Jib knows this trick somewhat, but we haven't done it in quite some time. So you will still be able to get the idea. And then again, as I mentioned, there's some troubleshooting videos at the end with different dogs. So here with Jib, you can see that I'm just using a bit of shoulder pressure to actually encourage him to start backing up. And then you want to reward them as soon as they even take one or two steps backwards. Something to take notice of is where my reward placement is happening. You want to reward in a variety of places around your body to encourage the dog to continue moving. For dogs who have a strong heel position, if you reward kind of out in front of you or over to the right side, once they get their reward, they'll automatically keep backing up until they get into heel position. Here you can see sweet little Sapphire has a great heel position. So all I'm doing is working my way around to try to get myself in a position that she actually needs to pull herself around to heel position. And then I can get an opportunity to get a reward in for her backing around me. Because Sapphire has the skills in place that I had mentioned, a strong heel position, a back up and a stand, she actually caught on to this very quickly and was doing it in one training session. You can see once I got a bit of momentum going that I'm using my body and just my knees a little bit to kind of keep her going in the momentum of backing up. So when doing this with Hugo, he actually had almost too strong of a heel position where he just was sure he was not supposed to back around Cynthia. So I just simply got her to put a lure in there a couple times just to kind of help encourage him to go back behind her. If you do lure, you need to get this out immediately. I would only do it two or three times just to kind of help them understand that they're not supposed to hold heel position and that they can actually move behind you. So Cynthia is doing another little trick here that helps with dogs who have a strong heel position. So what happens is when he takes just a little bit of a step back, she's turning in the opposite direction so that she's actually facing him. And because he has a strong heel position, he automatically adjusts himself into heel position and then she can reward him for backing up. Once your dog is reliably offering the behavior when you're in the X pen, you can begin to add your verbal cue. A common word to use is reverse. But of course you can pick anything at all, whatever comes naturally to you. All right, so the remainder of this video is in fast forward. You can see here that I've opened the X pen just a little bit so that there's a bit of a gap. I will be using my verbal at this point because I already put it on verbal cue when the X pen was completely closed. Here you can see I've opened it up even further. Make sure you change positions once in a while so that the opening's at a different spot. And you can just gradually continue to open the X pen until you get it completely out of the picture. You can see I still try to do kind of a variable placement of my rewards just to keep the encouragement up for Jib to continue circling. And these are the beginning stages of the back around a handler trick. Have fun and thanks for watching.